Did somebody say sketchy? Oh, that is scary. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Dirt Nation Off-Road. So today what we got for you is another Cleghorn run. Now I know we were at Cleghorn a week ago. Complainers, go ahead and complain. Put your comments below. Just kidding. But we're at Cleghorn again because uh, after our night run, there was significant amount of rain. And with rain comes what? Snow. So we got some snow at Cleghorn for the first time since I've been off-roading. So it's only me right now. We got me and then uh, Pro Plumber with his original snorkel gang, XJ. He's gonna be hanging out with us today. And then we're waiting for one more person. So three person group, and then we're gonna start hitting Cleghorn, look for some snow and just have some fun today. Gonna be a chill video. We're not trying to break anything, not trying to get stuck or snowed in or anything like that, but we are gonna thrash a little bit. So we're gonna start the trail. Let's get to it. All right, Mr. Late Guy is here. He's here. <laughs> he, brought, he brought the beast. You know those guys, Dernation? He's got the best sticker on this right here. Uh, trail rated. He's got the trail rated. Alright, now we're gonna start the trail. Let's go. Snow country, we're here. And we're in the clouds, so we might catch some more snow on the way up if there's any uh, precipitation. First obstacles right here. Take a look, you can't even see up there. Some people have gone through it. Plumber, are we doing it? Hell oh, yeah. All right, we doing it too, right? Send that shit. This is a slider. <laughs> this is, eh, we'll be fine. All right, let's get it.
sorry, sorry. Relax. Did somebody say sketchy? I said sketchy. Damn, that was crazy. Chris is next. Let's get it. snowball right in the face. Ah! <laughs> Payback. I think the, I'm good on this trail. The, the mountain got him back. The mountain got him back. <laughs> uh, you should have just kept going. Nah, you shouldn't. snow up here, Audrey. This is insanity. Look at it. I've been driving with the camera back here. YouTube saw it first. I was driving with the camera on the tunnel cover the whole time. So, look at There's a trail. That's a trail right here, too. This is a trail. So that's the 
I'll overlay some footage of what that obstacle looks like. That's the long one where you go duck walk all the way up. Can't even see it. Ha! Look at Plumber. <laughs> America boots. Feedback on driving in the snow. You slip around everywhere, and uh, especially when other people have come through here, you kind of have to follow their tracks. If you try and take in other tracks, it's just gonna take you and you kind of have to do some counter steer type stuff around corners. A little sketchy. You take it slow, take it easy, you'll be okay. Thunderers are gripping. Um, it's just really slippery. Uh, you know, with some of the snow that's packed down, it's not exactly fresh like this over here. It's more of this packed down stuff, so it's more compact, more slippery, but either way, having a good time. We're gonna continue. Probably not gonna do any more obstacles. We did two of them. That was, uh, that was plenty of fun for me. So we're gonna finish up the trail, but it is beautiful up here. I'm really glad I did it. That behind me is the clouds. Clouds, we're above the clouds, gang. Hey. Chris, you're clear. and come backwards and slowly just let me talk to me on the radio
to the sketchy stuff now. Um, for the last two sections, the fire trail has been snowed in and we've had to take the obstacles because that's what people are taking. So that tells me that only the G's are getting it. But made it through the first one. I got another one to go through right here. We just gotta keep the speed up and hope the thunders get some traction, but it is sketchy. Pinstripes, as always, we, we love the pinstripes, but let's keep it going. We've officially reached our limits. This is the fire trail over here and it looks like some trucks have gone through here, but they got big tires and a lot more traction than I do because I'm having issues where my front's pulling, but the rear is starting to slide I'm, and I'm sliding into the mountain, just whatever way, whatever way it wants to go, it goes. So that's a big problem. So plumber's backing up, Chris backed up. I'm going to attempt to back up. We're going to try and turn around and just go back the other way and wish us luck. I'll go first. I'll let you know when I'm down. Uh every freaking weekend. <laughs> Damn, plumber. Plumber's going fucking third gear and shit. All fast. No fear. I was going so slow down that. Click, click. Okay, I'm already going my way down. You can start coming up. Okay. He's headed up right now. I got you kid fun's beginning I keep getting stuck now tail likes to get a little happy so we're using the fire bugs to get me unstuck because I'm sliding off the mountain right now not a good look We are back safe and sound at the staging area. That was a butt clencher. Um, if I learned anything from this Cleghorn trip in the snow, don't underestimate snow, because it's crazy. Uh, make sure you guys are bringing recovery gear. Uh, that was probably the most important thing that we had today. Those wannabe firebug uh, max tracks that we had, I was making fun of them in the last takeover video. Those things saved the day for me today, because I was sliding all over the place. Um, there's a point where I slid into the mountain and if it wasn't for those bringing those and the shovel I wouldn't have gotten free um, Luckily, we had two guys with the winch with us today. These guys killed it Gang on the Jeeps. I like that. So um, Definitely take precautions if you guys are coming in snow It can be a lot of fun But it also this is by far the sketchiest trip that I've ever been on not the hardest trip Not the hardest trail or anything like that, but sketchy nonetheless So make sure you guys are taking the proper precautions 
when you go do snow runs. But other than that, I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. We'll put all those links below. You can hit us up for shirts. Dirt Nation shirts, not Slayer shirts, at dirtnationoffroad at gmail.com. Other than that, thank you. We'll see you again next time. Hey, what's up guys? So we have another announcement concerning the channel. Uh, we've started a Patreon. So if you don't know what a Patreon is, in short, I'll explain this. It's a membership-based platform which gives viewers an opportunity to financially support the brands, channels that they're interested in. In return, we can give our patrons exclusive content, services. Uh, it's kind of open-ended. You can do a bunch of different things with it. And it's broken down into a tier system. So ours is broken down in three tiers. We've got a $1, a $3, and a $5. And each one has its own name, its own services or content or whatever you want to call it. So you guys can check that out depending on where you see this. Uh, we'll have a link provided. So Instagram will be in the bio. YouTube will be on the, you know down below. And same with Facebook. Any financial support that we're getting is going to be able to give us the flexibility to do some things that we currently can't do. Um, first off, you know, we can do this is keep the Tacoma healthy. That's first and foremost. This is the truck that's out there every weekend, abusing it and doing everything that we're doing with it. We want to keep this truck running, keep it good to go. We're going to be able to give you guys more merchandise, more variety, and be able to create a platform to sell distribute and ship that merchandise as well um, we'll be able to host more events cleanups clinics takeovers whatever you want to call it and in the future we can even invest in better equipment including recovery gear cameras so we get more people help us out more people that we can help get recovered and we have to rely on others to do those things we are hundred percent committed to giving you guys the best off-road content on the planet and if you guys are interested in financially supporting that it's much appreciated if you're not interested in financially supporting that, that's totally fine too. Um, I'm not going to look at anybody any differently if you're not supporting the Patreon or anything like that. There's no favoritism that's going to go on here. This is just for the people that understand what we're trying to build and they have the means to support that. So if you're interested, check out the link that we provided and we'll go from there. Other than that, it's back to business as usual. Thank you guys. We'll see you next time.